farm log. Start date 2020-0301, March the 1st, 2020. So this is my Mark II hydroponic setup. It's day 42. I got peas right here. They're not doing so good. Same thing with the cucumbers. So I've made my Mark III, which I will be talking about here shortly. But yeah, I've gotten some flowers. Got a couple of little peas on here. This one was not getting enough water because of the problem I was experiencing with my water system. It kept on getting clogged. Alright, so this is the inside of the Mark II, which my previous video was about. Let's see, without the reflection, there are little bits of dirt, peat moss, and whatnot from my starter things. The problem was. These little guys get clogged really easily and they don't spray so I kept on having to open it up and unscrew those things and unclog them with a paper clip and that was getting really annoying and so here is the mark 3 I've got the same pump I just moved it over three quarter inch hose and that connects to a soaker hose, which I have wire tied around the perimeter, one inch down from this lip. Seems to be working all right. Just had to, uh, I tried to silicone it directly on it, but silicone isn't a very good glue for holding things like that. So I zip tied it and then just siliconed the, uh, the drill holes that I made. And check this out. Let me plug in pump do hit check that out sounds kind of nice too sounds like a fountain and there wasn't it wasn't getting enough back pressure for the pump to push water out of the soccer holes holes so a handy dandy push pin I just went around the perimeter and poked a bunch of holes and uh, it's got a bunch of sprays going on and I'm thinking if little bits of dirt there is no I guess spreader for them to get clogged on so if little bits of dirt going they'll just shoot right back out and go back into the tub ideally and then oh at the end I, it was a 50 foot hose so I cut it and then put put an end on it with a shutoff valve so I can control the flow and see what goes through that drops and it opens that up and it cuts the flow down which you know, I did that because I had gotten a cheap little sprinkler and it was spraying all over the place and getting through the top so that is why I put that on there so I'm gonna take those plants and just move them over to here Let's see how it does there. These ones, eh, it's probably too late for these guys, but we'll see how they go. I'll leave them in there for a couple more weeks and then probably do another planting.